Network, and welcome back to AlphaCraft. Look where we are. You kind of know. Look, see that? <gasps> Ooh, see that? <laughs> you got a good idea where we are. I thought I would start out here because this, this is turning into lunacy. Let's see if we can just fly through here. Look at this. This is underneath the mountain. This is becoming like its own little biome or its own little world or oh, its own little place that Piggy's going to get lost in. There we go. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is crazy. Oh, it it kind of gets messed up when the, okay, there it goes to say, when the chunks don't want to load in. But it's just, it's wild. I it, oh, So I've managed to do the cave and cliff update. <laughs> Between the ravine that we've got going on, between the mountain we've got going on, and between all... Where the heck did that spider come from? There shouldn't be anything spawnable under here. Let's see. I'm going to... Let's hit F7. Can stuff spawn on... <gasps> Forgot that drop was there. <laughs> Can stuff spawn on top of uh, slime blocks? I didn't think they could. Let's see here. Let's just... Maybe it... No, there's a light source right there. Um, Mr. Spider, where did you come from? Could you tell us? Let's see here. Maybe... i got to figure out something that will let me enderpearl against, and I will fall. I think that's right up against the, the shoots. Okay, there we go. Awesome. So let's see here. I've got to know. This is lunacy. Where did you come from? Boom, out of here. Let's see. Hmm. There's got to be like one little spot around here that I've missed somehow. But I want you to notice something else. Do you notice anything else from previous episode that's different? All of that used to be wide open. Yes, it was. So it's about to become daytime. Let's see here. Uh-oh. I don't... I don't um, um, fireworks. Fireworks. At the ready. There we go. Whew. <laughs> and fly away. There we go. Look at this. We've got more mountain built. I know it doesn't seem like a lot over here. Let's fly over this way. I've been working a little bit on this side. Some of this happened. Once again, I've been building in my sleep. Some of this got built while I was resting. We're going to fly over here to the other side of the mountain. And I'll land over here and we'll take a look at the front of the mountain from ground level. And then we'll kind of fly up. Oop, oop, oop. Chunk load, don't freeze up on me. There we go. Now, I still need to camouflage that little spot right there. I got to test to make sure it works well. And then we'll camouflage it. That's a slime launcher that launches you out here. But check this out. We are finally starting to become Pig Who's the King Who Lives Under the Mountain. <laughs> I think that's from Tolkien. The King Under the Mountain. I think that was uh, from The Hobbit, if I'm not mistaken. That is so strange not seeing that load. It's got this weird shadow to it. That's crazy. But look, we got like this little mountain peak right here. We got the avalanche. And I figured I would make it where it's like snow just kind of drifted around right in there. And right up top. And just didn't collect over here. Now over here, I think we're going to extend. We're going to add more of these spruce trees in here. Just to kind of uh, put some vegetation in here. There it goes. Now it's starting to load because this area looks very, uh, very bland. But I'm also thinking as we get closer to the back right in here, we're going to try something a little bit different. Uh-oh. Piggy left a hanging tree in the air. Let's see here. Let's, um, oh, I don't have it with me. I was going to say I, my little crook that would uh, let me, not crook. What are those things called? The thing, you, the hoe that you till the soil with. Okay, so that'll decompose now. All right, but see right up in here, now we gotta build a retaining wall through here, but I'm making it where the mountain builds up through here. You notice we get a lot of grass. I'm thinking about leaving the grass in here. I think the backside over here would look more interesting if we left it just grassy. We're just gonna have to use, ooh, we gotta build this hill. I forgot about this. <laughs> But leaving a lot of this green back in here, one, I'm not really going to travel back here that much. So I don't have to worry about uh, going back here and running into mobs. But the other thing is, I think we can use some lighting tricks and maybe put some bushes and stuff around to kind of um, 
leave greenness but minimize the amount of space that's going to have to be lit up but try to leave this just a little bit more natural back in here but look we got like the side of this hill because the elevation goes up right here i think i'm gonna leave a lot of this dirt and we're just going to slowly turn some of that into stone and if you notice i have got the wireframe for the rest of the uh the mountains pretty much built let's see here we'll you can see right here how the hill is going to build up right in here oh man i'm flying around it's it's so hard to see all the details like i said it look look at the sizes from back here <laughs> and i think i'm almost halfway done with the mountain i have been really pushing myself hard and um whoa you couldn't have paid me to do that <laughs> how in the world did i manage that trick let's see here i was gonna say i've got some uh jungle wood on me oh there it is do not want spawnable little spots floating around back here. And I'm, I've am i almost blown through half of my jungle wood trying to do all this. I hope I'll have enough. If not, um, may just have to switch over to a different kind of wood. Because um, I get the feeling that the season is very much getting closer to the end. Because Mojang... Oh, there's a spot right down there. Uh, Mojang keeps talking about the new 117 blocks and all the different stuff coming out. I mean, it's literally right around the corner. It's, it's crazy. Um, let's see here. I know, I know nothing can spawn up in there. We'll just leave that alone. That'll be the little secret. That's the Easter egg. If you ever get the map and you can download and look at it. And I'm thinking I'm just going to leave this ice tray right here in case we need it for something. Um, until I cover it up. Cause once, once you cover it up, that ice isn't gonna be able to refreeze again. Which stinkers. Maybe we can raise it up. Maybe we can have like an ice pond somewhere up in here. That might be a cool idea. But yeah, I'm just, I'm so happy about uh, how this is all turning out. It just, I'm so happy. <laughs> this may be the first time I've actually, I, I'm not gonna say it yet because I haven't done it yet, but this may be the first time that I actually finish at least to basic completion an entire Minecraft thought in my, in my head. Do you hear that? It's like somebody talking. What is that? Five hundred and thirty-four. Oh, it's it's coming from right over here. Well, what in the world? Oh, that head is not uh. Five hundred and that head is not the head that we put on it at the beginning of the season. Three hundred and ninety-five. <gasps> Five hundred and thirty-four. Okay. Look what we found. Three hundred and ninety-five. We found Aletha's head. <laughs> She was asking where it got put. It got put right here. She looks very intent on working in this area. You're working on this area now. I don't understand what she keeps saying, though. 534. 1,395. I don't know what that means. But she won't stop saying it. Maybe it's how many blocks she needs to fill up the area. No, that wouldn't make sense. You don't need that. Why would you say two different numbers? 534. Two different numbers don't make any sense. Hmm. I don't have to think about that one. <laughs> we'll see here. All right. So what I'm going to do, I'm thinking I'm going to work a little bit on the mountain. Just bring a little bit more of this over. Might do that uh, that frozen pond. Now that, that that's so funny. Like I never even thought about that until I started recording. It just popped right in my head. Maybe we could extend because this area right here is going to be pretty flat. I might be able to build that pretty quick. Just go ahead and extend this flat area to, you know, and then bring the frozen pond up. That would be pretty cool. I'm going to have to think on that because I kind of want to have like some, some cool decoration or something. And I really want to know what in the world those numbers are about. All right. So I'm going to get to working on that for a few minutes and bring you back, show you a little bit more of the mountain progress. And if I can figure out these numbers, we're definitely going to explore what in the world that's about. All right. So y'all just sit tight. And we'll meet back right up here. There we go. Just about got it all covered up. Nice. There we go. Clear all that out. Oh, come on, firework. Work with me. <laughs> now... Now, I know what you're going to say when I show you what I've done. I have been pushing, pushing, pushing. I'm going to tell you why. 
I, I, I am so close to being done with this mountain. If I can get this mountain done, I, I'm kind of known for starting a bunch of projects and then kind of dropping them. Like if you go look at my different series that I've got, I've got a bunch of different series where I get really close to completing an idea and then for whatever reason, um, just the stars don't align and I have to move on to something else um, and I never get anything accomplished. <laughs> I almost get there. I almost have, I, I have these great aspirations and dreams, but I never quite achieve it. Chunk loader, chunks, not working with me. But yeah, I mean, I really feel like this is going to be the first massive project that I may actually get. Now, it's not going to be anywhere near close to completion of what I see in my mind. But the fact that I'm not going to be leaving this build with a big chunk of it not built. So I, let me see here. Let's, let's see a better, uh, the best way to represent this. I found if I, I stand around and... Oh, if I stand around in an area and I let the chunks load and then I fly away from it, <clears throat> it's like it stays loaded a bit. But look at this. Just this spot right here to right there. That's all that's left for the mountain. Can you believe that? That is all that is left. Now, right in here, I'm going to leave a lot of this dirt. So that's why you can see that these spines, they go right here down to there. That, this spot right here, I feel like is going to be a little tricky, um, but not too bad because a lot of this is already established. Um, but yeah, that's it. That's all we got left. And then the mountain will be done. Then we can start decorating it and, and doing all the other cool stuff. So let's see here. Let's fly out this way. I'm just going to kind of coast. You know what? Let's get, let's get a higher elevation. I don't know how high of an elevation you can get with the elytra, but I feel like if... There we go. Oh, too high. <laughs> As I say, if we can get it where we, we kind of like stall our speed. Let's do this. There we go. So I can kind of see my speed a little bit. Do a little fly around. Get up here. There we go. Look at this. Man, oh man, oh man. Gosh, this is just... <laughs> it's almost overwhelming how, how much has been done. Eat them carrots, Piggy. Eat them carrots. You've earned them. All right. So let's let's swap back over to here. Now, I know what you're saying, Piggy. It's getting nighttime. You sure you want to be running out here at nighttime? I do. Because there's something really cool I want to show you here in just a minute. Th this cool effect that you've never seen... That, that I've had in my mind for some time. And now that this has been built to a certain amount, the effect is actually going to work. So I, I went ahead and left this little spot right here. I think we're going to do an episode of working on this. I'm not quite certain yet, but we'll come back to that. But look, we got the cool, cool mountainside right here. Now what I did is I just went ahead and replaced dirt blocks with, uh, with stone. So that's pretty much the way that the hill generated right there. I, I keep thinking maybe I should have made the dirt go a little bit higher. But I mean, it's gonna it's gonna be what it's gonna be now. I feel like okay, it's starting to get nice and dark now. So watch this. We're gonna do this really really cool thing. Will we fly up here. Everything. Oh, sunset. You were supposed to. Act. I kid you not. Sun never cooperates with me. <laughs> I'm gonna fly around over here. And just fly up here a little bit more. Oh, come on, chunks load. You're gonna ruin it. It runs up. I'll tell you what. Well, we'll do this. We'll fly over here and circle around, okay? <laughs> Just be patient. Just be patient. We'll get all this to work. But look at this. So we got this dark, dark mountain, right? And look. This really crazy, like, glowing area down here inside the mountains. I kid you not. A little bit more. I think once we get the, the mountains. Oh, oh, I saw it. I saw it. <laughs> it happened. It's happening. <laughs> we finally, finally, finally are getting to see the, the, the bone meal falling from the ceiling. Look at that. Everything's coming up piggy, I tell you. <laughs> this is awesome. But yeah, pretty soon we'll have that, that finished. 
And, uh, you know, once we get the whole mountainside done, I'm not even, yeah, I went ahead and put these columns in as well, just so we could have logical support on this side. But once we get that, those bits built, I'm going to go ahead and uh, probably do some flybys and replay or um, some, some screenshots because I still feel like the flying around is really not giving you a chance to see all of the, uh, the scope. And I really feel like there's there's some scope that's really not going to hit you until you actually get a chance to be in this world yourself. Just that weird perspective thing that happens. But I want to show you this. I want to show you how much material we have used. This is so weird looking. This is crazy looking. Oh, my gosh. Uh-oh. There's a spawnable surface up there. I think I've got everything lit well enough. We're safe down here. Let's just give a quick little check. Don't want no stinking creepers sneaking up on us. All right, so check this out. All this was andesite, diorite, and granite, right? Where's it at, Piggy? Where's it at? Okay, there's the andesite. We've three chests to andesite. That was weird. I thought I heard a creeper fuse go off. Uh, here's diorite. So we've used three chests of diorite. Now this was all stone, right? This column right here is all stone. You want to see that? Look, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, <gasps> eleven. Right here came out of that chest. So we've almost used eleven chests of stone, and probably going to use maybe five more chests of stone, maybe six, to get the backside of this thing built, and it'll finally be done. <laughs> so strangely enough, emptying out that ravine, the giant ravine. Yeah, um, all those materials, we, we actually made use of them, which is awesome. Now, I'm going to tell you what. I know it doesn't feel like much of an episode, but I think I figured something out. Those numbers that, uh, that Aletha was saying, I got to, I got to looking at, um, oh, 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 here's the roaming pigs. Hey, pigs, um. Leave me alone. <laughs> I got to thinking about the coordinates. Let's see here. Um, <clears throat> F3. There we go. That's that's what I needed. Um, 534. What if these are coordinates? Five. Keep going, Peggy. Keep going. You're almost there. 534. And... 1,395. Okay, the number is getting smaller. 1,395. Uh, what in the world? <laughs> What's going on? Why is there a button here? Why is she telling me about a button? Am I going to push a button and a TNT thing is going to go off? Um, let's do this. Let's. I'm just going to push it and run. <gasps> I heard something. I heard something. Okay, nothing went off. Nothing happened. Well, something happened. Wait, what? There, oh, oh, there's a, a hmm. <laughs> Do we trust this? Do we trust this? Let's see here. We're just going to go down. I'm going to get right here to the bottom and kind of squat. What is going on? What is this? Did Aletha set something up crazy? What is this? All right, let's, hmm. What do y'all think? My feet don't fit in there. That's for one thing. We got to get a bigger minecart. <laughs> All right, let's see here. We're just going to push off. Let's see what happens. Wonder where this thing goes. You know where this is kind of going towards? This is towards um, where I built the sad machine for Aletha. Uh, not Aletha. Should have built it for Aletha. For Stina. Oh my gosh, how far does this thing go? 
see if we can see the uh, the area. It, it, yeah, that hasn't loaded. Is that going to disappear? How many blocks away do you have to get for it to disappear? Oh, there it goes. It's fading out. This is crazy. Who built this tunnel? Did I build this tunnel? Am I trolling myself? Is this the ultimate troll? <laughs> I'm always messing with people, but now I finally figured out a way to troll myself. Is there ever going to be an end to this tunnel? Hmm. Um. Oh. Oh, it's getting darker. Oh, there's something down there. Oh, you know what I'm going to do? Let's hop out of the minecart right before we get up there. Because I don't know if something's going to trigger or go crazy. Um, let's see here. One. Two. Maybe one more. Let's go one more and we'll hop. Oh, no. I wanted to get close enough. Right. About. Boop. There we go. All right, minecart. You going to trigger something? I think it's made its way. Okay. Now, I'm not seeing any string. Like, normally you would have, like, tripwire hooks and string so that as a person passed by in the minecart, it would set something off. I don't see anything. Okay. Now, this is weird. Ooh. Um. <laughs> Get all these buttons. What is this? Should I push one? What do you think? Do you think I should push one? I mean, we came all the way down here, right? Let's see. Do these do anything? I heard something. That didn't do anything. That didn't do anything. Okay, that one sets off a piston. So far, that's the only one that makes a noise. <gasps> There's another one. That is so weird. Hmm. What does this do? Nothing. <laughs> oh my gosh, I trolled myself, I think. Did I do this? Uh, I don't know what's going on. We're going to have to go back to the base. Maybe the Aletha head can tell us what's going on. What do you think? Maybe a uh, minecart. You bother me, see? Let's see. Uh, nope, nope. Piggy, back up. <laughs> this is why I don't use F5 that much. There we go. Let's go and go back this way. You know what I'm going to have to do? I'm going to have to go back to base. Yes, I am. Just so we can figure out what in the world this, uh, this little thing is. There we go. Pew! Take off, Piggy. Oh my gosh, this is crazy stuff afoot. I don't know what's going on. But if you, if you enjoyed this episode, please click that like button. If you want to see more of these episodes as I release them, you're not already subscribed and you want to be, well, go ahead and subscribe. And if you want to be notified whenever new videos come out, if you'll click, let's see, I think it's right, right down there. Or over here. Somewhere over there. If you'll click that notification button, maybe we'll get notified. Who knows? YouTube's jerky like that. We never know what it's going to do. But I'm going to ride this thing back back to base. I'm going to see if I can figure out if the Aletha head will tell me anything else. Maybe we can figure out what's going on with this tunnel. Start working a little bit more on that mountain. Hopefully we can show that off in the next episode. And that's when I hope to see you is in the next episode of... Alpha Crow! Oh, I think I made myself sick there. <laughs> uh, here we go. Oh no. No, he's ruining the joke. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>